Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we actually have to cover the definitions of Eulerian walk, the Eulerian trail, the Eulerian circuit, so that we can get the definition of Eulerian graph. But just remember that the whole idea behind why Eulerian graphs are so important is often there's situations where you need to actually go along all the edges of the graph, for example, but you also want to reduce your retracing of steps. In fact, you don't want to actually retrace any steps because that is in inefficient. So when we start discussing this, obviously the Eulerian walk is going to be a situation that it has all the edges of your graph. So let's start with that. The Eulerian walk is an open walk that contains all the edges of the graph at least once. So say, for example, we have a graph here, and it's, hmm, let's just quickly draw it. We have something like this. We have, this is A, B, C, D. We can actually trace all the edges of the walk by doing something like uh, going from here, going from B to D, okay, then D to C, then C to B, then B to A, then A to C. So you notice all the edges are covered and you try not to repeat them and I'll explain why that is actually an important concept and where it gets a bit blurry this definition now. So an Eulerian walk in this case was B, D, C, B, A, C. Right. So now, in some context, here we have at least once. But in some context, you actually have a stricter definition for the Eulerian walk. And the stricter definition is that when you do this, you don't actually repeat edges. So it's kind of like a trail instead with no edge repeated. So in some contexts, in some um, works, and with some authors, what we would, or what you would think of as an Eulerian trail, they'll refer to as an Eulerian walk. Because remember, your trail is basically a walk with no edges repeated. So the example I gave there is an Eulerian trail as well as being an Eulerian walk. But let's just go through the definition of an Eulerian trail. And it's an open trail that contains all the edges of the graph. Okay, and we've already given an example of that. So one thing to note, there is an Eulerian walk and the less strict definition of it is basically it's an open walk with all the edges of the graph. Uh, occur in this walk at least once and that keeps the definition of like the definition of a walk where you're allowed repeated edges but in some contexts and in some subjects and the way that you interpret the subjects what they'll actually do is they'll say an Eulerian walk is actually an Eulerian trail and by that it means they're classified the Eulerian walk in their situation or in their context as an open walk with all the edges of the graph, but no edge is repeated. Okay, that's just a thing to remember and to take note of. So we've done definition one and definition two. Then we have an Eulerian circuit. Okay, so next up we have the Eulerian circuit. So Think about what a circuit is. A circuit is a trail, a closed trail. So when you think about this definition, you should be slightly aware that the first part of this definition is basically it is a closed trail. And we notice now that all the Eulerian things contain all the edges of the graph. So it's a closed trail which contains all the edges of the graph.
Now, again, just a reminder, because it's a trail, there are no repeated edges. So in this case, it is, you know, it goes, the, the beginning and end vertices are the same, but it's going to go through your graph in such a way that it doesn't repeat the vertices, but it covers all the edges in the graph. So this actually means that not every single graph is going to have an Eulerian circuit in it. Okay? And one other thing to just note is, in some contexts, an Eulerian circuit is referred to as an Eulerian tour. Or an Eulerian cycle. However, just note that even though they use the word cycle, and this is again a situation where the definitions get a bit slightly on the dodge side, even though it uses the word cycle and you've previously known that a cycle has no repeated vertices, it does not mean that it has no repeated vertices. So when they do use it in this context, it does not mean that it has no repeated vertices. Okay, so again we have the Eulerian circuit is a closed trail which contains all the edges of the graph and that means there's no repeated edges, you know, and it is closed so the beginning vertice and the end vertice is the same. But in other contexts, in other books and by other authors, they also refer to this as the Eulerian tour or the Eulerian cycle. But just to take note that in this situation the cycle does not actually have the same definition as your previous definition of a cycle, which has the definition where there are no repeated vertices. So in this case, repeated vertices can still exist in what they refer to as the Eulerian cycle. Okay. And then our final definition is an Eulerian graph. So an Eulerian graph is basically any graph which has an Eulerian circuit in it. So if it has an Eulerian circuit, it is an Eulerian graph. Okay, so again, not all graphs are going to be Eulerian, but obviously there will be certain graphs which will always be Eulerian just by the base on how you create them. So you have to start considering that. So now we've done our definitions, let's move on to some theorems that involve Eulerian graphs, because firstly, you are going to want to know some of the characteristics of an Eulerian graph. Why do you, like, the characteristics are going to make you understand why you even care about it in the first place. 